So I got a couple of these T-nuts and studs done for the uh, cross light. All right, guys, so like I said, I was going to make some of these uh, T-nuts and studs. And right here, we're going to... I'm using a piece of uh, round material here to make the T-nuts. usually use square, but I just had this piece of uh, leftover stuff and decided to just turn them out of this. This was uh, incredibly hard stuff. I'm not sure exactly what it was, but it was really tough to turn. So there it is. Getting the test fit. I uh, hand tapped these because I didn't want the threads to go all the way through. The two so here we're just going to start on studs and uh, just turning the major diameter to put uh, threads on this end. It's going to be a 5 16 18 thread and uh, just checking the diameter there. Coming in for an undercut. Um, and I'm just going to put a chamfer on here. I'm going to put the uh, floating die holder that we made earlier on here. And uh, just put these 5 16 18 threads on here. That thing's really handy for just making a couple of parts. So. Let's give it a test fit. Goes in there nice. I'm going to turn the uh, major diameter on the uh, part here. Now I'm going to come in and put a hole in the back. Right here you see the rotary brooch making a hex head here. And that's what that looks like. Threads on it. So I'm going to give it a test fit into the uh, T nut here. That's good. Finishes are decent. Nice fit in there. So. Yeah, that part's done.